underway here in Bloomington. Allie Paberg's importance just so clear the second she stepped on campus here in Bloomington as Cardano Hillary sinks a three and we've got our first points of the afternoon. She can't get it to go. Rebound will be taken by Cardano Hillary. Paberg to Mackenzie Holmes, finishes with the left and good. Trailer guarded by Papberg, lost the basketball, and here comes Indiana the other direction. Papberg in transition, no numbers forward, but she'll hit it anyway. Allie Papberg perhaps playing in her final game in an Indiana uniform in Bloomington. Meanwhile, they'll feed Golbe inside and Alexa Golbe. Dion trying to back down in the paint. Back to Dion, lost the basketball. Novorovsky's gonna pick it up and give it off to Allie Paberg. Here comes Indiana in transition. Forward for Goulbet, and she gets the bucket and the foul. Just underway here, early stages of the second. Inside for Goulbet again, and she puts it up with two, and she'll draw the contact again. Alexa Goulbet, she'll go back to the line again. Take a look. Alexa Goulbet, one of those players. There is a miss for Purdue. A sloppy possession there back by from Indiana as the Hoosiers will have it again. And Goulbe will try a rare three and she'll hit. Alexa Goulbe can't miss right now, folks. We're back in front. Boy, IU having some offensive troubles here early. And you got to be thankful that you're playing a struggling offensive group in Purdue as Moore tries to put it up from the logo. Can't get it to go, but another offensive board for the Boilers. Nearly 81 points per game over these last four wins for Indiana. And there's a bucket from Allie Papper breaking the scoreless drought. Brooke Moore being backed down by Allie Papper. And meanwhile, Farquhar will try to throw it up with the right. That's a nice block away by Alexa Goulbe. Into the floor for Goulbe as we take a look again at Goulbe's block out of bounds. Honored on senior day for Purdue. She's number 22 in rebounding in the Big Ten. Trailer tried to put it up, but that is a heck of a defensive effort there from Indiana. Berger trying to create some space. Shot clock winding down. Paberg from three, left it a little bit off the mark. Offensive board, Cardano Hillary puts it up at the buzzer, and that should count for Indiana. Check the replay here and see if we can get a good look at whether or not she got it off, but they are counting this bucket for now, and yes, she got it off in plenty of time. 34. 34-31, the Indiana lead. You mentioned Allie Papperg being the full package. This Indiana program really is the full package as Cardano Hillary will hit from three just because it has been his job to scout this team really ever since he's arrived here in Bloomington. And there is Mackenzie Holmes finishing with the left. Keep things at bay here after Purdue has just continued to answer the bell. Here's a three on the way from Kiana Warthen, and she hits on senior day. So if they are if there are anything like they have been in the past, we'll see how they can convert in the second. Berger forward for Mackenzie Holmes, and she finishes and gets the foul. Holmes will go back to the line. A pretty play, and you can see there the emotion. Brooke Moore going to fire from Will. Open three. Had a look. Another offensive board for the Boilers. It's blocked away. Purdue almost able to grab that offensive board, but Papperg tears it away. Here comes Indiana the other direction. Berger, deep two on the way. Yes, sir. Teen on a basketball court. I mean, this entire staff just so animated all the time. Always up and out of his chair. Rhett Weersbach calling out the plays. The ball stay with Indiana here. Mackenzie Holmes finishes inside again.